Bangalore University's Department of Computer Science and Applications organized a special lecture on the topic of AI in Business, Maximizing Applications and Preparations for Success. The event featured Mr. Asad Haq, founder and CEO of Cypher, an AI and ICT consulting firm. Registrar Bangalore University Sheikh Latif, KAS, highlighted the need for lectures on the latest topics considering Bangalore University's position as the nation's third best university after JNU and Jamia Millia. This emphasis reflects the university's commitment to staying at the forefront of education. We are having the excellent faculty members, professors. We are the NAC A++ graded. In India, we are the third best university next only to JNU and Jamia Millia. Now the bridge gap which is to be bridged is uh, the interface between the academy and uh, industry. The real life experience, uh, the people from the real life experience, uh, their uh, practical experience, uh, what they are uh, sharing with our students, uh, which will gap the bridge between academic and industries. Uh, and that is why visiting faculties uh, coming to the university also helps a lot for our uh, students. See, in fact, the, we are having a excellent uh, courses like uh, MCA, MSA, Computer Science, uh, Communications, uh, Journalism, Visual Arts, uh, Fashion Technology and all those things. These are all the, what is the need of the hour of the industries. So for the need of hour of the industries where uh, theoretical and project oriented and academic uh, we are having excellent faculty and the industries those who are coming here sir, more and more people uh, i would like to uh, bring the visiting faculty they are most of the people are our alumni are uh, they are uh, spread all over the world so it will be a homecoming to their uh, mother institutions uh, and they will be happy to come those thing identifications and uh, alumni uh, status improvement uh, that is there in my mind to uh, improve for the university actually. The lecture attracted a diverse audience interested in understanding how AI can transform businesses. Asad Haq shared insights on various applications of AI in the business world, highlighting its potential to improve efficiency, enhance customer experiences and provide valuable data insights. The lecture emphasized the need for businesses to stay informed and adapt to the rapidly changing landscape of AI. All were welcome to attend this enlightening session which aimed to equip businesses with the necessary knowledge and strategies to maximize the potential of AI in their operations. Yeah, I was actually contacted by the uh, registrar uh, and of course with the blessings of the Vice Chancellor of the Bangalore University. Uh, I, uh, Asad Hug, as an alumni of uh, Bangalore University, where I completed my engineering uh, in 1989 from Bangalore University. So I had the privilege of talking to the graduates and the post-graduate uh, students of the AI and the computer science, uh, uh, you know, uh, faculty uh, and the students. I was really uh, thrilled to see that the kind of knowledge the uh, kids have here in uh, Bangalore, in India, the kind of acumen, the kind of enthusiasm they have, uh, you know, in uh, producing uh, new AI applications, algorithms, uh, apps, is something uh, uh, worth noting. So I did uh, share my experiences as an alumni of the uh, university. Uh, you know, I shared my 34 years of experience uh, right from the day, you know, I was hired at uh, Infosys in 1989 by Mr. N. R. Narayan Murthy and Nandan Nilakani. I still remember that day where I started my career. Though I'm a mechanical engineer, I got into the mainstream IT business uh, because of Infosys. And uh, the next one, two years, I was groomed by them. So till today, I'm in the same uh, uh, you know, business of uh, IT as an entrepreneur. So we do a lot of work in the Middle East. We've also done some work in India in the past. Uh, the, in the work in India was mainly to train uh, uh, students uh, during the COVID and the pandemic uh, period, but uh, of course on the Middle East scale based in Dubai, we do a lot of work in uh, AI, in uh, new platforms, blockchain, metaverse, then of course, you know, everything to do with networking, uh, ERP, software, uh, a whole lot of system integration work we do. So it was a very interactive session and uh, like I said, students were asking a whole lot of uh, practical questions because they're now graduating or super graduating and going into the real world uh, for jobs. So they were asking about, uh, you know, what are the skill sets that they need to hone, 
what is it that they have to be aware of is there a risk in ai especially with because of the automation robotics is there a way that you know they will lose their jobs how should they protect their jobs so they gave them various uh, ideas and various uh, clues and uh, practical exposure and experiences that i have narrated to them that it's only more opportunity coming up their way best there is a challenge to keep to keep you need to keep learning you need to keep enhancing uh, your skill sets and there are so many ways to you know keep working and uh, enhancing your knowledge base through you know the internet through youtube the online portals uh, there's a lot to be i am you know as a senior person having 30 or 35 years of experience still today i keep learning new things so that keeps me also challenged like i said there is a chance like especially the uh, rudimentary jobs where there is assembly of cars where you know the environments are difficult for a human being to work around the clock robots will take over have taken over in production of cars in you know difficult hazardous conditions but yes this has also given a opportunity in other areas where there is programming where there is uh, you know management of these uh, systems these ai automation uh, processes to be managed so yes there is a new skill set for the uh, people who are on the job to learn to upgrade themselves and keep moving and yes the youngsters have a better opportunity uh, more op- uh, more options of new jobs everywhere you see the ai is infiltrated uh, from day to day a social life to a practical life to banking to education to internet to everywhere uh, it's uh, ai based uh, applications which are happening do you think ai is a future it is indeed as we speak you know the regulations for ai are still being formulated by the governments uh, even in india it's not fully rolled out but there are significant uh, uh, measures are being taken uh, we have also seen that uh, you know top uh, ceos of you know the google or the microsofts uh, are all working together to <clears throat> formulate uh, policies ai policies they are also working with uh, eu to have a common platform for ai policies to be implemented so it is a work in progress from afghanistan so i did my bachelor degree in bca bachelor of computer application so the bachelor computer application it's like another field and msc master science in computer it's another field so i just they uh, like uh, contributed to the master science computer so which we can learn more things new things so as we today the topic was about the ai so basically ai is a most dangerous things in the world but at least as the sir was explaining we can handle it by learning new things so and now that we can see the ai is already take the place of humans and we can we will not be able to like we are not sure about the future but the, the sir was telling we have to learn new things and like getting down the ai so this was the ai like the topic so it was a helpful things it was good uh, explaining about ai how ai can manage the things and how a can replace the situations and uh, how uh, replace uh, work of humans and it was good and he interact with the students if you are smart enough if you have a threat that ai will take your job or job of a department then those people have to get more alert they have to get sharper